Um, in class, we've talked a lot about how making a movie or any art is a sense-making mechanism, a way to understand our world. In some ways, this suggests that art comes from a place of confusion or doubt, a question. 
In other ways, though, it could mean that art is an attempt to share a moment of clarity, some certainty and answer. For you, do you find your music generally comes from an unresolved question or from the desire to record an answer you've discovered? Hmm. That's good. Maybe both. Um, I think if someone were to analyze my lyrics, they'd find the most common theme is searching, or like I don't know the answers, or I don't know this, or I don't understand this, or why that. But sometimes you do find things through searching. I mean, that's the only way to find anything is to admit that you don't know how it works and then try and figure it out. But I think you touched on a little bit in your speaking earlier, but I think there's a myth uh, that most of us are sold that to be an artist or to create art, you have to be miserable and you have to be suffering and it's all about sadness and everything sucks and everything's horrible. And, you know, that... I feel like that's the biggest crock of bullshit, you know, that, that it's just not, not fair. Because I think a lot of people, like myself, I grew up and uh, grunge was really popular when I was young and Nirvana and Pearl Jam and all these bands that were miserable people. I mean, they made some great music, no doubt, but they were miserable. And you saw, you know, your idol, Kurt Cobain, is this guy that's miserable and he's just like in such pain and everything's an ordeal and everything's horrible and you feel, you know, you, you feel really bad for him but you kind of emulate that too. You're like, well, if I want to be as good as Kurt Cobain, I guess I have to be really miserable too. Everything sucks. You know, and you get into this whole mindset and it's fucking bullshit. It makes me so mad and I, you know, it's kind of like the broccoli theory again because maybe at a, at a certain age you can't even understand that it's bullshit but for me once I discovered Stevie Wonder and Curtis Mayfield and music that celebrated beauty and said hey the world is confusing life is hard we do have to qu question it and we do feel sad about it sometimes but life is also beautiful and life is wonderful and there's so much more so I feel I feel like I don't know I do a lot of questioning but also a lot of celebrating <laughs>